Hello viewers, it's now Sage. Now you can see there is some function about the Sage account. Uh, basically on nominal ranger. In this nominal ranger, you need to go to models. Once you go to the models here, you go to the models. The models, uh, you see in the models, you can choose the nominal ranger. You click the, the nominal ranger, click there. Once you click the nominal ranger, we have uh, the prepayment. This is about the prepayments. Those are the money that you pay before use. Uh, some of the issues that you sort out uh, before you use them. So you just click prepayment. In this prepayment, as you can see there, those are some of the things that you can just pay them before you use them. For example, here we have this for insurance as you can see the code then the account code here the account code it is about uh it a two zero four this is a nominal uh, account code for insurance and uh, this nominal code for insurance now is being de detailed as a jbd insurance for the company and uh, you require to pay uh, before you so that they can secure your job in this case, you can see the code, the prepayment nominal code is 1103, and you have the amount which is 18 at 6, paid for 12 months. That means each and every month you are paying 153 shillings. Uh, then we have this one for Nairobi business permit, which is Nairobi City County, for example, the business permit, whereby it's been paid in a year before you before you start your business. It means you if you pay, pay on January, you go up to December for this. That's why it's been paid for 12 months. We have the house rent, whereby you can pay for a deposit of three uh, three consecutive months. Uh, the payment for the the deposit and the the first uh, for the month, second month, and third month you can pay before you care, you go on with your business. We have the um, the advertisement on TV. Among other places, you can just do the same. Those are some of the prepayments you can work on before you uh, you do with your business. And then you click to save. Once you click save, you see the information there. This payment are only posted to the, uh, to the ranger when the month had finished run. It means that uh, this amount, even if you pay in a, in a near form, it will be put in the ranger uh, monthly. It means that when the month had at the time you get the card deposited to the to the to the nominal ranger. That is how you work on that as a prepayment. Let's go to the fixed assets. In this fixed asset, you require to go to the uh, record. Once you click the record, you see there is a layout for the accounts. Just click record. And once you click the record, you can see we have the nominal code. Just select there, and we have, for example, office equipment. This office equipment is one example of a fixed asset. You just click OK. Once you click OK, we have now the balance for this. Click balance and you get this opening balance setup. You require to put the reference number whereby you can just put the nominal code as the reference number which reflect 0030. And you have the date. You can still work with that date. Then you click the debit side. That is why you put now the the amount for your office equipment, which is around one hundred and twenty thousand. So you can see there. Once you put that amount, which is now one hundred and twenty thousand, you don't require to put on credit any amount. Just click save. Once you click save, you see the amount is being reflected on that. Uh, then you need to put what under nominal record office equipment just click save and if you have another one just go to here and select now another another one if you have it uh, in this case you require to go and close once you click close now you see some of those fixed assets uh, as reflected here you can see you have the the office equipment of 120,000. You have furniture features of that is 6,000. A motor vehicle of 750,000. Those are the total fixed artists of 
906,000. Those are the total fixed assets. Let's now do something called depreciation of the, those fixed assets because they are losing value each and every time we are using them. We require to go to, so to deposit, we don't require to go to the record. You need to click journals. So in journals, that is where you click and do dep depreciation. So just click journals and come, you put the reference number and put your reference number like that for, for depreciation. And once you put that one, you can just now adjust the date that you went. Yeah, as from the company when it was in the time we are, you are depreciating your item. You can just come and put the date there, you adjust the date. Also, you adjust the date, then you come to the nominal code. Click there and choose nominal code for office equipment, for example, and you click OK. You see the office equipment, and you have the details here. You can write depreciation. You can write the depreciation. Once we write depreciation, we have the tax code. Tax code should be referred to be T0 for zero related because when depositing, you're not putting the value for taxation. On this side, it means you don't put now on debit, but you put on credit side because it is losing value. It means here you put the amount on which to deposit. By for example, it will deposit with a 6,021. That is an example, the amount I want to lose the value for the office equipment, 3,621. Click down there on debit side, and you come here, you choose the code for depreciation, whereby you can just type 8, it will give you the position code for for that one and now you go up to here you put task code zero you click ok then you have now the on this side you put now the amount on debit not on credit because of contra entry uh, now you put the same figure which is that 621 you just put the figure that you put on credit now you put on debit because the gainer is the deposition, the loser is the office equipment. That's how you work on that one. And now click save. You do to the to the next one. You just put the reference number. Uh, you work on this one. Now for another equipment, for example, of furnitures and features. Now you go to furniture and features. Okay. You repeat to this one, deposition. Just click there and now put T0. Okay. And now put on this credit. On this credit, just put the figure, which is now to be 2,310, for example. With the amount on the one to lose value with. Click there. Choose 8 for depreciation. And now put T0. You have put the same amount, which is now 23,310. Once you put that one, do the same. Click Save, and you click Close. Once you close, now you can go to the Fixed Asset to confirm. Just click Fixed Asset. Remember the, the amount which was there now, it was 906,000. Now you can see the total Fixed Assets. It's now... 900,069 shillings, but it was initially 9,906,000. So, you can see your the now the amount up to that level. That is how you do deposition, and that is how you work on the nominal uh, ranger. That is how it works from prepayment to the record and to the journals. Those are the main ones you just work on the fixed on the nominal ranger. Let's move to something else. Uh, Search M Kenya, our fan page, search M www.searchmkenya.com. You can see and learn more information there.